Creating a view in Tableau is very easy. All we need to do is drag the fields we need and drop them in different areas of the workspace depending on the view we want to create. Now I should say that when starting out with Tableau, knowing where to place the fields to get a desired view could be tricky, but as you get familiar and understand Tableau that becomes very easy. For our first visualization, we want to create a view that shows sales over a period of time. For this, we need sales information and date information. Information about sales is contained in the sales field and order date contains information about when the order were made. I'm going to drag order date onto columns. We notice that the order date are now grouped into separate years and we have four different years, 2018, 2019, 2020, and 2021. And we can also see that they are all in separate fields or columns, if you will. What if we drag order dates to rows? We get the same thing, all aggregated into different years, but now on the row level. I'm going to move this back to columns. The other information we need is sales. I'm going to drag sales and I will place it in rows. And immediately, Tableau creates a view for us. On the marks card, we notice that this says automatic. And this is Tableau automatically choosing a mark type for us. If we want to display this in another graph, we can click on the arrow and for example, select bar. And now we have our view as a bar chart. We have the sum of sales on the vertical axis and the years on the horizontal axis. When we over our mouse around each of the bar, it shows us the exact sales amount for each year. However, it may be more beneficial to have the amount displayed on each bar. To do that, I'm going to direct sales and place it on label. The sales amount for each year is now showing on each of the bar. Another thing we can do is to adjust the color of each bar. If we want the bar colors to reflect the sales number, we can drag sales to color. And what we notice is that the intensity of the color increases based on the sale amount for each year. What if we want a different color for each year? Well, in that case, all we need to do is drag other dates and place that on color. And now we have different colors for each year. Let's create another view that shows sales by category and subcategory. We're going to open a new sheet. For this view, we need the sales, the category, and the subcategory fields. Let's drag category to row as well as subcategory to row as well. For each category, furniture, office supplies, and technology, we have products that are grouped as a subcategory. So for example, for furniture, we have bookcases, chairs, furnishings, and tables that fall on the furniture as a subcategory. We have the same thing for office supplies and technology. What if we dragged category and subcategory? What if we placed it on columns? What would that look like? Well, let's give it a try. I'm actually gonna clear this sheet and we can do that by clicking on the button. This button is used to clear the worksheet, so that is cleared. So I'm going to drag category to columns and let's drag subcategory to columns as well. And you can see the way the view appears now. Now you would agree that on the row level, it looks better than the way it looks on the column level. Well, it all depends on what we're trying to achieve, but I would rather have it on the row level. So I'm gonna drag it that back to the rows. To add the sales value, all we need to do is drag sales and drop it on text. We can also drop sales directly on the workspace. So uh, I'm actually gonna remove this. And to remove this, we just need to drag it out again. Or we can, I'm gonna put it back here. We can also just remove by right clicking, remove, okay? But I'm gonna drag sales and I can drop it right here and we get the same thing. And we can just stretch this out a little bit just so we can see the title. We have a category, the subcategory, and then we have the sales value for each of the products. 
We can change the title of this view either by double clicking sheet 2 and giving it a name or we can change the name right here. Um, I'm going to double click here and let's just change this to sales by subcategory. When you click apply, it previews, gives you a preview of what it's going to look on the, the, on the view. And if we're satisfied, all we need to do is click OK. I'm going to press Ctrl Z to undo. We can also change the sheet name right here by just typing sales by category, subcategory. And once you enter, the name changes here as well. Let's create another view that shows sales by region. For this, we need region and sales fields. But first, let's open up a new worksheet. Instead of dragging region to the workspace, I can actually double click and Tableau is smart enough to place the field on an area on the workspace based on best practices. Now, if the view is not what we want, we can always move the fields around to fit our need. I'm going to double click on sales as well. On the top left corner, we have the show me toolbar. Sometimes we may not be certain about how to visualize our data. Tableau shows us some options. Some of the options are grayed out because the view we can create depend on the fields on the workspace. So let's say for example, we wanted to change this view. We can, we see the options if we click on this, so we get a, a bar graph. We can click on another option, which is really what we had before. Um, we can click on this and that's simply just highlight or color code each of the region, the, the cell value for each of the region. We can also switch to a pie chart. We can use a tree map. Now a tree map uses color and size to represent values. So the size and color of the rectangle is proportional to the numeric value of each group. So um, we can actually use this and I can, let's reduce the size of the tree map. I'm just going to drag this up and we can call up show me and we can um, bring it up again or we need to just click on it. So I'm going to reduce this. So we have uh, four different regions. And if we want the sales value to show, all we need to do is drag sales and we can drag that to text. So for each of the region, we can see the sales. And as I mentioned earlier, the size of the rectangle is proportional to the value or the, you know, the, the sales amount for each of the region. And I'm going to change this to sales by region. And perhaps we could change this sheet as well. And this would be sales um, by here. And we can just change this. Sales by year. 